Hi, I'm Bex Hybrid Sales Intern Rachel Guerin here with Alex Johnson at the London Practical Farm Research Facility. Today is July 6 and we're going to be looking at some fungicide timing studies. I'm going to pass it over to Alex and he's going to talk about disease pressure he's been seeing in Ohio cornfields. So let's talk a little bit about what I've been seeing in fields across Ohio. I've been checking corn and soybean fields to see what kind of pressure are we experiencing here in Ohio from foliar diseases. And what I've seen in corn as well as beans is as a result of the rain we've had this spring, large amounts of rain as we all know, we are seeing increased levels of foliar disease pressure in many parts of the state. On corn, I'm seeing gray leaf spot, northern corn leaf blight, anthracnose. On soybeans, I'm seeing frog eye leaf spot, Septoria brown spot, which I see every year, but I'm, we were seeing it earlier and seeing quite a bit of it. So in many fields, I'm seeing increased levels of disease pressure, but more than that, I'm seeing it come in earlier than it even did last year, where we had significant yield loss in some areas from northern corn leaf blight and gray leaf spot. In this study here at Bex Practical Farm Research in London, Ohio, we're testing to see what effect on yield fungicide makes from an early application or a late application. At this split in the field on my right, your left, this is where we put an early fungicide application on at V5 with Fortix fungicide at V5 application. Fortix fungicide is a great fungicide to use for earlier applications. On my left, we haven't yet treated this, but we'll, ta we'll, we'll uh, spray this with fungicide at tassel time with headline. This is a study we do every year at Bex to see what kind of effect on yield we get from fungicide. Now let's talk through some of the things that we have to consider as farmers when making the fungicide application decision. This is a decision that must be made based on many factors, but at the end of the day we got to make our best guess at whether it will make us money or not. What are some of the factors that need to go into our fungicide application decision? Number one, let's, let's pinpoint which fields are at a high risk for needing a fungicide application, high risk for disease. Because we have a lot of fields as farmers, let's target that high risk field so we know which one to scout first. So consider your rotation. If it's corn after corn, you're at a higher risk for foliar disease. Number two, tillage. No-till would be a higher risk than conventional tillage for uh, scouting for foliar disease. Hybrid susceptibility would be a third thing to consider. Uh, some hybrids are more susceptible to others to foliar disease. So rotation, tillage, and hybrid susceptibility, consider those to pinpoint your highest risk field to go take a look at. Now the biggest thing is scouting. We consider those factors, but we need to get out in that field and check. Let me show you some of the things that I look at to help make that fungicide decision. Tim, if you come a little closer, let's look at the leaves on this corn. I would, I would say that this field is at a very low disease pressure. I'm finding very little disease. As I even look at the lower leaves, they're very clean, not much disease in this field. So we got to consider those things for the results. We're less likely to see an economic benefit from spraying this. We'll see what the results tell us later in the year. Now let me show you some de diseases I have been seeing in fields. I mentioned earlier the di different diseases that we see a lot of in Ohio. Northern corn leaf blight. You'll notice the le lesion has pointed ends. We call that a cigar shape. That's one way to differentiate it from other diseases. Northern corn leaf blight last year blew in on a storm in July and quickly multiplied and caused yield loss in some areas to where a fungicide was very beneficial. This is one to keep an eye out for. Another big one that I see a lot of and have seen starts of here in Ohio is gray leaf spot. Gray leaf spot the name doesn't fully tell the story, but it's more of a spot. It's more rectangular. You're not seeing the cigar shape. You're seeing these spots that are somewhat rectangular in shape. 
Northern corn leaf blight, gray leaf spot, those are two I'm seeing. The other is anthracnose. Anthracnose, you see it more in corn after corn, and you may see it start on the lower leaves a lot of times because it comes up from the residue. In conclusion, this discussion about foliar diseases here in Ohio, my intent isn't to alarm anyone, but I do want to encourage you, this is a great time to get out in your field. Think of about that high risk field that you may have on your farm. Get out and take a look at it, see what kind of pressure you have to help make that decision whether to spray or not. Uh, as a reminder, the best times to apply fungicide in corn, anytime from tassel to brown silk is the optimum time for fungicide. In soybeans, R3, which is when we're starting to see pods on the plant. Most of the beans I've been looking at are R1 to R2 or younger. So we have a little time yet on corn and beans. Uh, our effort here at Bex PFR is to test these things, to help give our customers information on how to make this decision based on economics and agronomics. And that's what we have to do as farmers in an attempt to raise higher yields and farm more profitably.